The first ever Verde Watershed Report Card was released this month. The Verde River received a C plus grade overall. The score took into account the quality of the habitat, community and water of and along the river. I spoke with friends of the Verde River and the Nature Conservancy who say that this grade doesn't mean the river is failing. In the middle of the desert, there's a water source bringing life. The Verde River runs over 170 miles through parts of northern Arizona and into the Phoenix area. The Nature Conservancy and Friends of the Verde River spearheaded efforts to create the first ever Verde Watershed Report Card. What we see in the Watershed Report Card is kind of the impacts of drought and climate change, but also of that increasing human population. The river's low base flow score is one of the key findings. This is calculated by the amount of water in the river prior to rain. The report looked at the river in June, after the winter rainy season, but before monsoon season. That's probably the most concerning score. We got a D on that. Shawnick says they've seen base flows decline for the last 20 years. And we really need to think about that because that's being impacted by drought. So the amount of water going into the aquifer and then by the amount of water being taken out by things like groundwater pumping and surface water diversion. Water diversion is particularly personal for Jenny O'Callaghan. Her cattle ranch includes a section of the Verde. We feed our beef and they're mostly grass fed and so we need grass and grass doesn't grow without water. We have been irrigating our fields for some time. She's making changes. Currently we're in a project with Nature Conservancy to put in irrigation sprinklers as opposed to flood irrigation, which is what we're currently doing. Others like Nancy Steele also have an interest in conservation efforts. We've spent so much time over the last 10 years creating priorities around preserving this habitat, around removing invasive non-native species, around creating and replacing it with habitat for the native species. Soon we're going to plant a bunch of cottonwood trees here so, too. So in the future, you're going to see even more of the native plants here, providing a healthy place to live for the wildlife. Sections of the Verde River are protected under the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act, which preserves specific waterways in the U.S. So we're thinking about what's that Wild and Scenic River need. It needs good water quality. It needs to continue to flow. We need fish. We need the uplands in our watershed to be healthy. Steele believes the life this river brings is not limited to the ecosystem. There's something magical about a desert river, and the Verde is that way too. I come upon it, and it's magic. You know you're in a place that's a ribbon of life. The U.S. Forest Service helped fund the report card. The agency wants to increase public awareness about the health of the Verde River watershed and protect the water that goes to people in the valley and surrounding area. Live in the newsroom, Madison Staten, Cronkite News.